Good morning, everyone. This is Rob over at Next Truck Sales, and I want to take this opportunity to introduce you to our 2016 Kenworth T680. We have several of these to choose. So just give you a quick pan here. You can see we've got one over there. We've got one, two, three, four. We've got at least half a dozen of these T680s in stock. Um, they range in mileage from about 470 miles to about 550 miles. Um, feel free to hop onto our website, www.nexttrucksales.com and check out what we have available in stock. The website is updated daily. So if you see it on the website, the truck is available. This particular model and the other 2016s that we have from the same fleet are all built and specced exactly the same from new. The only real differences between them are the mileages, the tires, and the price. So I'll take you through this one. I'll post it up on YouTube and our website, and then feel free to scan through my YouTube channel and our website to see the other units that we have for sale. This model here has a 485 Packard MX-13 with 1650 torque, 485 horsepower, and a 13-speed manual with 12 and 40 axles and a 336 gear ratio. It has all-wheel disc brakes. It's got 240 gallons of fuel, seven-spoke Kenworth wheels, full skirts on the one side, four bunk access doors, upper and lower, sliding Holland fifth wheel. This particular model has brand new drive tires, Chinese Mirage. These are 11R22.5, a freshly sandblasted and painted frame, and you can see the, the all-wheel disc brakes here. I'll give you a good look. Now, it had an APU on it. The APU is no, no longer on the unit. That was removed by the original fleet. You can see on the back, you'll see some, some bolts put into the holes where the APU was originally mounted. It's been removed. Uh, the APU was mounted there, and that's why this skirt section here is no longer existent. Okay, I'll give you a quick look inside of here. We've got, like I said, four bunk access doors. you got a full pass-through with lighting. Your HVAC unit is inside of here. These trucks also have HID lighting. I'll show you that, and I'll take you, take you for a quick walk underneath the hood. We've got Michelin tires. This particular model probably has 60% tread. Uh, all of our trucks are going to be reconditioned to the same standard. So they're going to have the frame sandblasted and painted. We'll get the wheels polished up if we haven't already. I don't think this one's been done yet. You can see there's, these are Alcoa Durabrites and you can see there's a little bit of scratching. Uh, we get them sent out and we have the machine polished and, um, and they look awesome. I'll take you over to one of the other ones that's been done. Um, but due to COVID, we've had some delays in trying to get all the wheels polished as quickly as possible so some of them have it some of them don't and they're all kind of in a lineup here to get them polished i'll see if i can find one that's been done actually i'm going to walk you over here really quickly this one looks like it's been done so you can see here how it looks afterwards that's a machine a machine polish some of them we've had have been hand polished because there is another guy local that will do hand polishing um, but he's also backed up. So if you look through here, you'll see that one's not been done. And then if I come over to here, we'll see this one looks like it has been done. So that will be the, uh, the finished product is gonna look like that. Give that a, a wipe. So it looks, looks really good. Uh, obviously, once you take that Durabrite coating off, you're gonna need to maintain it on a regular basis. But for this type of a truck, I think it's worth, um, worth doing because it looks awesome. Uh, this one here, and all of our trucks are all, like I said, reconditioned to the same standard. So no check engine lights, no oil leaks, cold air conditioning, working heater, engine brake, you know, wipers, washers, all that stuff is all in working order. And we've got a fresh DOT with a fresh service. So we're gonna do a grease job and adjust the fifth wheel up and that type of stuff. Um, just to take you quickly over here, the giveaway for the, um, for the HIDs and not all Kenworth T680s come with HIDs is the high, the, uh, as it says here, it's a ballast and the ballast fires up the HIDs and will give you awesome lighting. The other feature, there's one feature here in particular that I really do like on these manual transmission trucks. On the Kenworth, you've got hydraulic, obviously uh, not a cable, a hydraulic master cylinder, but it's, it's connected in the back to the clutch through an air assisted um, 
actuator. So what happens is when you push the clutch, it uses air to assist you in um, applying pr pressure to the clutch. So it really makes the clutch feel almost as soft as a car clutch. It's it's really that light. You're not going to blow out your your left knee trying to trying to shift gears. So I'm going to fire this up in a minute. I'm going to take you through the truck, and I'm gonna, I'll just briefly talk to you about the process as well. So obviously we're in Canada and. Good chances are you're, you're in the US right now going, I like the truck, I like the price, it's all good, but how do I buy this truck and how do I get it home and how do I get my title? So if you look at the price on the truck, whatever price you see on the advertisement that you're looking at, if you scroll down in the body, you're gonna see what we charge for delivery to certain locations throughout the states. That price that we charge extra includes the delivery and it includes all the paperwork that you're gonna need in order to get your title. We're gonna take care of everything. So we're gonna take care of all the importation process. We're gonna take care of making sure the truck is gonna comply with US DOT, US EPA, uh, National NHTSA, I think it's called. We're gonna make sure that, that, that the truck is gonna comply and you're not gonna have to worry if we take care of it for you. We'll make sure that you get your title. Uh, we will deliver the truck once and let's just walk this through. Imagine that we've made a deal on this particular truck. You like it, you want to make a deal. Um, first off, I'll make sure that we get you the pictures of the actual truck that you're buying. And typically I'll do a walk around video of the truck in question so that you're not looking at a video of this truck, but we're actually selling you that truck. So we'll do a video of the actual truck. And unfortunately these videos do take a lot of time out of the day for me to shoot and then you know get posted so you know we bring in a package of 15 of these i don't have 15 videos up immediately but it gives you a flavor of what the trucks look like and if we do lock in on a particular unit that you want i'll get your pictures in a video of that unit as soon as i get a chance but let's assume that we get a deal on one of these units the way it works is we send you an invoice we're going to send you banking instructions wire payment instructions you go to your bank you pay us we ship the truck within approximately three to four days from receipt of payment to a location either in Flint, Michigan, if you're on the west, or in Niagara Falls, New York, if you're in the east. And it sits there per US Customs regulations for two weeks. It's not my rule, but that is typically how long it's gonna sit. From that point then, when we know the truck is going to be released and you can go pick it up, I'll reach out to you, ask you when do you want to pick it up, and we'll coordinate getting you the original title and a trip permit. The trip permit is uh, going to allow you, it's an IRP plate, it's going to allow you to travel through all 50 states legally. Uh, we need to use your insurance, and you'll supply me with the insurance. I'll get the trip permit, I'll drop it in the FedEx, you'll have it the next day, and you're going to go to the yard, pick up the truck. The yards are open 24-7. You grab your truck, you drive home. Uh, simultaneously, US Customs is working on the paperwork that we've supplied to them, and they'll provide us with five or six pieces of paper that you print out, um, all these forms that say the truck meets this standard and meets that standard, and then it complies with this, and it's, it's all that stuff. You're gonna print that off, take it to your local DMV, along with the title that I sent to you previously, along with that trip permit, and you get your, and you get your plates. You get your title and you get your plates. Um, so it's really straightforward. We take care of it. Um, we've been doing this now for 15, 20 years. Uh, we've probably done 250 of these this year in 2020. Um, because of the US exchange to the Canadian dollar exchange, the prices of the trucks are attractive because we're sitting right now, we're in mid-December, it's about $1.27. Earlier in the year it was up to $1.45. So basically you know somewhere between a 27 to 45 percent discount on the truck and you're getting a quality product you can see that the truck is 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 clean there's no body damage it's ready to go to work and you're getting it at a bargain discount so the one thing that you that you will want to do if you're looking at this video is go on to google maps go to next truck sales look us up look at our reviews look at the other folks who've bought trucks from us who've done this before you who bought a truck site unseen who bought a truck from some guy in Canada never seeing it and just hoping and praying that it's going to show up and the money's not going to some imaginary account and see that we are legit and that we're capable of doing this and we do it on a consistent and regular basis 
um, and we can make a deal on this truck or any of the other trucks that we have in stock. We've got T660s, we've got T680s, we've got some other stuff with Cummins, we've got Cascadias, we've got all kinds of units in stock. We've got heavy spec Max. We've got a little bit of everything here. Uh, lately, we've been uh, selling a lot of Cascadia, so we're kind of sold out of those. We're down to our um, this package here that we brought in, and we're just starting to get these online and do videos of them. So give this one some thought. I'm gonna take you over to this one here. This video will be up on YouTube later this morning, and I'll take you through the inside here, and then I'll fire up the truck for what it's worth. I want you all to listen to this. Um, so if you look here, gear ratio 336, 13 speed manual, 485 horsepower at 1700 RPM. This particular serial number ending in 733. Couple of other things that are important for importation into the US is it has to have this sticker. So it says this vehicle complies with US regulations. It also complies with California regulations. So there's no issue there. So I'm gonna take you on the inside of this truck and you can see here how clean it is. Okay, so it's been professionally detailed. Uh, it has this on here because we shampooed that seat. You can see here, we've got a multi-way adjust. This button here is for getting in and out of the truck and that'll drop the seat down. When you get into the truck, you push it again, it comes back up. Uh, this is your height adjustment, this is your bounce adjustment, and this is your lumbar adjustment. So if you look in here, I'll take you through. Oh, it's also got a heated seat. Let's see if I can spin this around. There's a little heated seat button there. So I'll take you inside here. This is the Vantage interior. And the Vantage has sort of stitching and I guess we'll call that, it kind of feels like leather, but I, I'm gonna say it's vinyl. I'm gonna fire this thing up. Give me half a second here. So we're selling these trucks. We complete regens on them. Uh, we're going through making sure that there's no codes so that you're getting a truck that's literally ready to go to work. Um, if you have a look here, you're gonna see this one has 905,000 kilometers and it's real easy to change it. You just spin it over, go for metric to standard and there you go 562 miles i believe this is my highest mileage unit and the lowest priced unit but we have a bunch of them and you need to go onto our website to see what's still available uh, i'll take you through here so power locks power mirrors sorry power windows power mirrors heated mirrors and full gauges i want you to see this bluetooth audio full gauges so you got 12 gauges over here you got another six gauges here You've got, I do like this. So that first switch here is gonna get you mood lighting on the floor. The second switch gets you overhead lighting here. The mood lighting is down there. And I'll take you through here. This does have the spin around chair and cat and um, table. So if we pull that chair forward, and I'm not gonna do it today because I've only got one hand to do it and it is a two hand job. You're gonna pull that, pull the seat forward, pull on that lever spin the seat and then that table spins back and you've got a nice little workstation over here you've got your headlamps parking lamps trailer lamps and this is a three-way switch for your rear lighting so I'll take you through here so you've got in the back we've got a double bunk pull on that it's going to come down you've got a brand new mattress up top there a brand new mattress on the bottom we've got auxiliary lighting here which is nice turn that on so we've got a spot for a DVD I'm going to move this I gotta spin the table around so give me one minute I am gonna move this chair forward just a little bit because you do need some space at the back to spin this table uh, the one the one other thing I do like about this you got lots of secure storage lots of deep cupboards with locks okay you've got a spot here for your uh, DVD player or cable top box. You've got a flat screen TV mount. You've got a microwave mount here with, with a seat belt with some sort of a little bracket here that seems to be, I'm not sure what that's for. It looks like it's maybe out of another truck because I see it goes here, but nonetheless. And these are used trucks. They're not perfect, but they are in nice shape and they're ready to go to work. And that's the important thing is that you're getting a truck that's not shouldn't give you problems but that's not to say that it won't because it is a used truck but we go through them and do everything in our power to make sure that they're going to be able to go to work and make you money right away so there's the table in the spin around position you need to put it in that position to put the bed up so i'm going to put the bed up and i'll give you a quick peek underneath here i'm going to reach underneath 
and there you go. So we've got we've got your HVAC unit, and then you can see there it's got a brand new filter. So when we're going through these things and we're doing the service, those are the little types of things that we're doing on the truck that you'll see have been serviced, so that you don't have to worry about breathing in somebody else's uh, dirt coming out of that. We've also got a stereo subwoofer. Over here we've got a refrigerator and we've got a step to go up to the second level. So let me move this table back. There's a little handle in here, spin it around. So if we take a look at your table, or sorry, your fridge. So this pulls out, that pulls out. You've got a ice maker in the back there. You've got a refrigerator switch there, turn that on. And now you've got your fridge on. One of the features I love about this truck and every truck should have this, and I don't know why they don't put it in, is when you turn the fridge on, if you turn your truck off, the first thing it's gonna do is say, hey, you've left your refrigerator on. So that's a really nice feature because nobody likes coming back to uh, the dead batteries. Um, let me just see if I can get this thing to start back up again. Okay, so taking you through the back here again, We've got some more switches. We've got nice lighting. It's all LED lighting, low energy consumption. So you can leave lights on and not worry about it draining your battery. We've got, a, this is your three-way switch for, oh, sorry. This switch here is for the little red mood lighting for your table. You can see that and it gives you, I'm gonna flip the, um, you can see more mood lighting over there. And then it's gonna give you more mood lighting underneath here. So that's that little switch there. Then we've got our three-way overhead. So this switch is interlocked to that switch there. Uh, we've got, got radio adjustment here, so that's great. And you've got a, a USB charger and a 12-volt cigarette lighter. This will also lock the doors for you so that if you're in the truck and you're laying down and you want to lock up and you don't feel like getting up, you're going to push that button. Then you've got auxiliary heater controls. You can see where the APU was mounted. It's no longer there. We've got, I'm gonna turn off that light. We've got a bunk access door, which will open up. You got one on each side. You've got a, um, the window is gonna go up for with a screen and you've got a curtain there. And that's an insulated curtain. It's very thick um, to, keep the, uh, to, to keep the heat or the cold out. We've got it on the opposite side as well. So, I mean, this truck is, it's just got every feature that you would ever want. Whoever designed this was really thinking about the life of a truck driver when he's not driving the truck. Because you've got more storage and cubbies in here that you can just have so much stuff. You've got overhead there, you know, you've got just all kinds of space. I'll give you a nice panoramic here of the inside of this thing. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna jump up on this bed and show you. Okay, so gives you a good, good idea of what's going on here. And, and, I, and I want you to take note of how clean the truck is. Not every truck is this clean. Um, when they come in, certainly, there's no truck that's this clean. But we have probably the best cleanup shop in the land to go through these trucks and they shampoo all the seats. You can see that's clean. This one doesn't smell like it's been smoked in. And you can see that it's definitely not been smoked in. So. You're getting a super clean truck here at a fraction of the price of what you'd pay south of the border. The only thing you need to have is patience because we need about three weeks to get this thing across to you where you can pick it up and put it to work. So if you've got some time on your hands, you give us a call. My number is 844-489-8789. Our website is www.nexttrucksales.com. And my text number, my cell phone is 289-259-6054, 289-259-6054. So you can text, email um, through our website or um, feel free to give us a call toll free. I hope to hear from you. And we're gonna go down now here. Let's take a look at the underside of this hood. Have a listen to this engine running. I want you to pay attention to how quiet this thing is. This is a this is a diesel engine. And yet listen to it turn away. Some 
gasoline engines and cars that make more noise than this. If you are, uh, if you're not a fan of Packard power, you should, uh, you should consider it. The engine is rated. 90% of these engines will make it to 1 million miles. That's a rating from Packard and it's been independently verified through some of our contacts at NTP that these engines have a very low claims rate. They don't pay out a lot of claims for Packard engines. They just, they seem to, uh, seem to last. One thing that we also do offer, we offer warranty from Premium 2000 if you're interested. Um, call us and we'll give you pricing, but um, we do have a good package of these available. So if you want more details, like I said, 844-489-8789 or nexttrucksales.com. We've got some variety here, as you can see, and I hope to hear from you soon. Bye for now.